Hey there, Caitlin here, Snap and Nutrition Educator in Waldo County, Maine. Today we're making ice cream from bananas. So I put some bananas in a container and I froze them. I probably overcrowded them. I should have given them a little more space, but they did freeze in about three hours. And I'm going to put half of those bananas in the food processor. You can use a blender, you can use a um, immersion blender, the like stick blender thing. Use whatever you have. I even did this with a potato masher and it came out lumpy but still good. Then I'm going to add a splash of milk. So this one we're doing a dairy version. Put the top on, blitz that up. And look at how smooth and creamy that is. So this is just the base, right? You could add anything you want to this. You could add some chocolate chips. You could add some walnuts. You could add whole berries, whatever you want. I'm going to transfer it to a flat container. A blade fell out there. <laughs> and I'm going to lay it nice and flat, spread it out. I'm trying to create surface area so that it'll freeze pretty quickly. I want this for dessert tonight. <laughs> Stick that in the freezer and on to round two. For this one, I'm going to do a non-dairy version, so I'm just going to use a little bit of coconut milk. You could do whatever you want. You could add some juice. It won't be as creamy, but you could add juice. You could add um, any kind of nut milk you want, any kind of milk you want. Make it your own. Play with it. And then once that's pretty smooth, I'm going to add the strawberries. I want, like, chunks of strawberries, like regular strawberry ice cream, so I'm not going to blend it until the strawberries are smooth. I'm just going to blitz it a little bit. And there we have it. Look at that. Strawberry ice cream. Because my strawberries weren't frozen, this one was um, a lot more liquidy than the first batch. But when it froze, it was still really yummy. It just had um, a few more ice crystals. It wasn't as creamy as the other one. So that was my bad. I should have used frozen berries, but I didn't have any. <laughs> And there we have it. There's our banana strawberry and ice cream. There's a little sundae with some of both flavors. If you want more, be sure to subscribe. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't forget to have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. I also want to shout out to Waldo County Bounty and the Belfast Soup Kitchen. They'll be doing food box pickups. The supply is more limited this time, so be sure to show up early, but they'll be at the Mount View School Complex on March 5th from 9 to noon, and then the Athena Health Complex on March 19th from 9 to noon. Thanks so much for watching. Head to mainsnapad.org for more. Bye-bye.